MLK Day Parade is an annual tradition in Washington dating back to 1977, a chance to honor the legacy of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He stood up for injustice, he stood up for, for the people, he stood up for equal rights. It, that's very important, something we're actually still fighting for today. He gave us hope, and as long as you have hope, you can make it. But once you give up hope, so we have hope. We have hope for the city, we have hope for this country, and we have hope for the world. So. The theme this year is recapture the dream. Lift every voice till victory is won. King's dream was, of course, for racial equality, but also for economic equality and an equal say in politics. It's still a lot going on. It's still a lot going on that still needs to be done, and that's why they keep reiterating his message every year around this time so something others can hear, others can hear that hasn't heard. Progress has undoubtedly been made since King's assassination in 1968, but much work remains. Compared to whites, blacks in the U.S. are far more likely to be unemployed, far less likely to own their own home, and far more likely to be incarcerated. The problems still aren't fixed. We still have a long way to go, so why not support, you know, a dream that we all should have, that we can all live and be peaceful together. It only makes sense. King's message resonates across generations. 11-year-old Zaya Brown performed at the event alongside the parade. Everybody, let's do better. What do, you, what do you think of when you think of Dr. King? Well, he's my favorite, honestly. Like, he's my favorite person to learn about. And I think that he was just a peacemaker, and he helped the world a little bit become a better place. And I feel like we just have to keep on going with that and, like, fulfill, like, his dreams. While the work for racial justice continues, King's dream lives on. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.